welcome back. Uh, greetings and salutations. Dr. John coming at you from Ewer Specific Chiropractic here in Greensburg, Pennsylvania. Today we're answering a question that I get a lot in the office and I get it so often I end up saying, I find myself week after week saying the same thing over and over again. It's like, why don't I just do a video on this? So here's the question. And if this question doesn't apply to you, you probably already clicked past the video anyway. So you've clicked on this video because you have kids. Dr. John, how often should my children get adjusted? They don't have any problems, but they play hockey. They're in gymnastics. They do dance five nights a week. You know, we go canoeing and hiking and they're active and they have falls and traumas and they have those little razor things and they have roller blades and they sometimes they wear their helmets, but sometimes they don't. We catch them, we yell at them. How often should my kids get checked? This is a great question, so stick with me real quick. Children need to be checked by the chiropractor, much like you take your children, you wouldn't even think of not taking your children to the dentist, right? So, well, the, they don't have any cavities, why would they need to go to the dentist? That doesn't even make sense to them because the American Dental Association has done a really good job educating the public on how important it is to do preventative care inside of our mouths from the age since you have teeth until you lose the baby once, then you have the, the grown-up teeth, um, and you want to keep those forever, right? The same thing applies to the spine. So the American Chiropractic Association, or the International Chiropractic Association, hasn't done a very good job communicating this message. If you have a spine, you need to have a chiropractor in your corner. Now, for some people, and we deal with, uh, we see a lot more kids in this office than a lot of chiropractic offices do, so follow me here. If your child has had a traumatic birth, well, how does how do you describe that, Dr. John? Every birth is traumatic. It doesn't matter how you came into this world. It came with trauma. But say you have a natural delivery, there's no forceps, there's no vacuum extraction, there's no pitocin, and it's just a like the, like textbook gentle birth, everything went well, mother and baby are healthy, there's no big issues. That's like what we want to have happen, and that happens. That's one category. Then there's the nightmares, and you know who you are. If you had any of those things I just mentioned, if it was a C-section, emergency C-section, if there was a uh, shoulder dystocia, if there was a, a, a breach presentation, if there was twins, if there was anything that happened, if there was a posterior presentation, if there was a this, if there was a that, forceps, vac, vacuum, sometimes they get the vac right on the, the, the posterior fontanelle. You think that's good? No. These kids need care after they're born. Who's going to do it? They should be seeing craniosacral therapists, possibly. They should be seeing chiropractors. But those kids need to be checked. And the, the, the gentle adjusting that we do with children is, most people don't even realize that the kids are getting adjusted when we're adjusting them. So when should they be checked? Right after birth. When should they be checked after that? If they are healthy and nothing's going on, they should be checked spring, summer, fall, and winter. Four times a year if they were checked after birth and if they don't have any problems. That's enough. Now you'll hear different things from different chiropractors. This is my personal philosophy, it's my, it's my opinion. Now, if they're a trauma-laden child, I mean head trauma, they've got more stitches in their, their cranium than you could possibly imagine, that's a different child. It's, it's like a, a danger danger children. You know, some kids are more reserved. Some kids have to build a jump and they have to take their bike off of it. It's just whoever your children are. That child is going to need more care. If you have them involved in chess and tiddlywinks at a young age, they don't need as much care as if you're a dirt bike motocross rider. Okay, so follow that. It's just common sense here, right? If you're getting, if you're getting into wrestling, football, and catch this one, ballet and gymnastics are two of the toughest things on kids. Those kids should be checked once a month. If there's nothing going on, if they have other issues going on, you might want to get them checked more often. So how do we adjust kids? In our office, we use a little instruments that we use. This is called an arthrostim instrument. We use it all the time. It's very gentle. 
We also use uh, little adjusting instruments like this is called an integrator, and it just is a preloaded boom. It's very gentle. We also use our hands. We do a lot of things with the drop tables that you guys have seen, but it all depends on the size of the child. When they're infants, I'm holding the child and adjusting, and you never even know I'm doing it. They don't even wake up normally. Um, other, other times, we have to do soft tissue work if it's a repetitive stress injury with, like, say, you're a softball pitcher or you're a javelin thrower, etc. So let's get back to the question. Dr. John, how often should my kids be checked by a chiropractor? It just depends. It depends what their birth process was like, and it depends what their immune system is like, and it depends how their neurological development happened from really birth to age three to age five. And then once we get into the school age years, it just depends on what athletics. I mean, listen, carry around uh, a tuba, carry around quad or a, a quint drum set or that big bass drum and go marching down the parades. We don't have parades anymore because the virus likes parades for whatever reason. But listen, as we get back to normal, as we get back to doing our athletic events, these kids should be checked often. What did I do for my own kids is the other question. I have three children. They were involved in sports, athletics, different things, you name it. They were all adjusted differently and at different times and different places. What I wanna do, guys, is I wanna provide the same high quality healthcare that I did for my own kids for the world, okay? And we can do this. A lot of it is not covered by insurance because they don't have a diagnosable condition. So understand a lot of our, our pediatrics care is self-pay, and yes, it is an investment in their health. Those financial questions need to be taken up with the front desk. I hope this answers that question about pediatrics and adjusting and how often. This is Dr. John signing off once again. God bless and take care till next time.